Hello, good morning, students. My name is Adesh Moghe. I'm head of the maths department in Vidya Lankar classes. And I've been coaching JE Advanced Aspirants since last 20 years now. Okay, so today we'll discuss about uh, the JE main session one. How was it? Was it lengthy? Was it too difficult? That we will discuss. What can, uh, what percentile can be expected? What uh, possible set of marks? Okay, so expected cutoffs. And especially what to do after boards. Abhi to boards are in February, May, almost February and the board exams are. But how to go about the other competitive exams uh, in uh, the month of March, April and May that we can discuss. Should you attempt JE main session 2? I mean, if you have got very, very good percentile in JE main session 1 itself, uh, is it required to attempt session 2 or you can directly go for completely, you know, advanced preparation. So that we can discuss. How to manage JE advanced preparation uh, along with the other entrance exams? What are the other entrance exams you can appear for? And how you manage your advanced preparation along with these exams? Okay. Okay. So, if we talk about JE main session one, ki baat kare, abhi abhi just hua hai. <coughs> uh, this year, uh, especially the math section, the JE uh, uh, mains, ka, wo 22, 23 ke level, pe tha. there were no. Uh, uh, optional questions. Okay, you have to attempt all the you have to attempt all the questions. So that's why the paper became slightly difficult. Negative marking the integer section maybe. Uh, so number of attempts logo ne kam kiye expected cutoffs 2024 se to definitely uh, kam lag raha hai mujhe. It will be somewhere in the lines of 2022. Okay, where the maths was very very difficult. So this year it was almost same. So jo log April mein wapas attempt dene wale hai. Make sure that you improve on your uh, speed, especially in mathematics uh, subject. Okay, so these are the expected cutoffs. Ye mera personal opinion hai plus minus ho sakta hai. And these are like average uh, kind of marks across all the across all the sessions, across all the slots. Okay, so ho sakta hai kisi slot mein hamara 170 pe bhi 99 percentile aaja, kisi slot mein 200 pe 99 percentile aa sakta hai. Average, what I think is this year, it will be around 185, 190 for 99 percentile. For 98 percentile and nine, between 99 percentile, it should be somewhere around 160 to 185. If you have marks in this range, you can expect somewhere around 98.5, 98.6, this kind of percentile. Uh, 95 to 98 percentile, I am expecting between 125 to 150, 160 marks. So anything above 125 in this paper can get you 95 percentile and above. And uh, 90 percentile, which is the IDJE eligibility criteria, I think it is expected to be 100 marks ke aspas, expected hai. 13, 14 lakh students have appeared. Okay, so I think uh, anything above 100, uh, three digit marks should get you, uh, should make you eligible for uh, JE advanced. Okay, now see, this is about session one, but now what about session two? Boards ke liye obviously you have to prepare right now and that's the uh, one of the most important exams you have to face immediately after your JE main session 1. But uske baad, sabse bale aega JE main session 2, which will be around 1st April, 1st April to 8th April. Okay, uske liye kya preparation karna hai, wo bhi hum discuss karta hai. Then, jo Maharashtra ke students hai, unke liye hai MHTCT, which is another important exam for Maharashtra Engineering Colleges, which is from 19th April to 27th April. Uske baad aega advanced, which is on 18th of May. Okay, single day exam. And bit set. Bit set ke jaysa ki tum jaante ho, do attempts hoote hai. Attempt 1, attempt 2, session 1, session 2. So that is ranging somewhere between 26th of May to 26th of June. So completely packed schedule rehega tumhara almost mid June tak. And this is the time which you have to utilize very, very carefully. I mean, take with in, koshish karo ki waste now, apni tabiyat ka dhyan rakho. Uh, idhar udhar time waste now, us cheez ka dhyan rakho. Because these four, five months now will decide what college, what branch you get in that you will not be able to change for four years, right? So very, very important three, four months. Okay. Uh, see, it's a fact, students, believe me, I am this year se bada rahu. Ki 80 85 percent students when they come out of the exam hall they say ki sir main isse aur better kar sakta tha ye mera best attempt nahi tha i am not satisfied with my performance okay so ye sirf tumko nahi lag raha hai ki are mera performance isse aur better ho sakta tha ye almost 80 percent students ko lagta hai ki ha i am i perform below expectations 
So that's completely okay. You just wait for the result. Let's see what you what percentile you get. Don't worry right now. Your M S X T question attempt कर पाया seventy five में से या मेरे fifty attempt हुए. हमें नहीं पता दूसरों ने कितने किए है ना? So don't feel disheartened right now. Let's wait for your percentile. हो सकता है कम स्कोर पे ही तुम्हारे स्लॉट में काफी अच्छे परसेंटाइल आ जाए ठीक है सो दैट्स वन पार्ट बट सेकेंडली इफ यू आर नॉट गेटिंग गुड परसेंटाइल इन सेशन वन देन डेफिनेटली यू शुड अटेम्प्ट फॉर जेई मेन सेशन टू जहां आपने फर्स्ट स्लाइड में लिखा था कि विच स्टूडेंट शुड नॉट अटेम्प्ट जेई मेन सेशन टू आई थिंक इफ यूर आई टी प्रिपरेशन हैज बीन वेरी गुड फॉर टू ईयर्स एंड यू हैव क्रैक जेई मेन विद सम नाइनटी प्लस मतलब दो तीन हजार के अंदर तुम्हारा जेई मेन में रैंक आने वाला है यू सिक्योर दैट काइंड ऑफ रैंक ओके देन मे बी यू नीड नॉट अटेम्प्ट जेई मेन सेशन टू बट ऑल अदर स्टूडेंट्स हु आर 99.5 से जो पीछे हैं या 99 से जो पीछे हैं दे शुड डेफिनेटली गो फॉर द इंप्रूवमेंट ऑफ देयर परसेंटाइल इन सेशन 2 सो यू हैव टू गो यू हैव टू अटेम्प्ट जेई मेन सेशन 2 फॉर दैट व्हाट एक्स्ट्रा यू कैन डू सी Complete march you have uh, for the preparation of uh, session two. उसमें तुमको एक तो अपनी speed पे काम करना है। तुम्हारा जो twenty five का session one का paper था उसको analyze करो कि वहाँ पे क्या mistakes हुई हैं, है ना? किसी subject में बहुत ज़्यादा time लग रहा है क्या? वो formula हमको याद नहीं है क्या? So that revision plus ये जो दस papers हुए हैं session one के ten slots के ten papers ठीक है? ये तुमको देने हैं Uh, with time bound conditions in march every second day you can give one paper okay and in the remaining time you work on your speed you work on your weak areas ki okay conic equation mujhse nahi ho rahe hain ya definite integration ke nahi ho rahe so you work on your weak areas uh, work on your speed work on your accuracy of course and uh, give all the session one attempts and dekho ki usme us slot mein itne itne marks pe kya percentile hai theek hai So this is what you can do about JEE main session two. In case you have got very low percentile in uh, JEE main session one, मान लो हमारा ninety percentile से कम आ गया है या उसी range में ninety ninety two percentile की range में है, then my suggestion would be for Maharashtra students start preparing for Maharashtra CET because see बहुत major changes नहीं आएंगे session one, session two और JEE advanced में. अगर हमारा परसेंटाइल 90, 92 है तो अगेन फ्रॉम माय लास्ट 20 इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस आई कैन से कि बहुत ड्रास्टिक चेंजेस नहीं होते हैं इट्स नॉट लाइक कि 92 से सीधा 99 हो जाता है या 98 आ जाता है ठीक है फ्रॉम 92 यू कैन बीट अनदर 30,000 स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन कम समवेयर अराउंड 94, 95 परसेंटाइल ओके सो इफ यू हैव गॉट 95 परसेंटाइल एंड अबव डेफिनेटली यू प्रिपेयर सिंसियरली फॉर द सेकंड अटेम्प्ट ऑफ जेई मेन and after jee mein you start preparing for maharashtra cet or you can go simultaneously about it but if you have something like less than 92% 90% in the first attempt of jee mein my suggestion would be to start preparing for start prepare for msc cet uh, sincerely and get into good maharashtra college there are many many good colleges in maharashtra in mumbai pune so you start uh, preparing for cet so that you can end up getting a good branch in some very very good college in maharashtra उसके लिए बोर्ड्स जब तुम दोगे तो ऑटोमेटिकली तुम्हारा सीटी प्रिपरेशन होता है ठीक है बोर्ड्स का ही काइंड ऑफ ऑब्जेक्टिव वर्जन है महाराष्ट्र सीटी बट यू हैव टू रिवाइज योर इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड टॉपिक्स आल्सो ओके सो इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड टॉपिक्स के जे सीटी में क्या क्वेश्चन आए हैं पिछले पांच दस सालों में वो देखो और उसके अकॉर्डिंगली उन टॉपिक्स को रिवाइज करो फॉर दैट अब विद्यालय का स्कोर बूस्टर मटेरियल कैन रियली हेल्प यू It is available on Amazon, Flipkart, and many other websites. So, uh, it is topic-wise uh, study material of uh, previous CET papers, topic-wise questions of previous CET papers. So that will really help you to understand how to prepare for 11 standard topics. And of course, you have to prepare for 12 standard also because 80% paper is from 12 standard. If you are a Mumbai student and uh, you want a better preparation of, मतलब uh, online offline lectures अगर तुमको चाहिए तो you can join with the Alankar crash course. We run uh, almost forty five days crash course for uh, CT in which twenty to thirty days there are lectures and then there are a lot of tests. So that really helps in you know getting something like ninety eight ninety nine percentile above in uh, Maharashtra CT. So that option is available. 
and uh, otherwise you can um, solve with the alumkar score booster as well as you should give 10 to 15 mock ct test papers before appearing for ct you have to give at least 15 mock ct papers every alternate day you can give one okay if you have qualified for GE advance, as I said, with a very decent percentile like 95 and above, then uh, you can prepare for advance in GE main session two simultaneously. If your percentile is very good and 99.5 plus, hai, so you can skip GE main session two, you can directly prepare for advance. Else, uh, if you are something between like 94, 95 to 99 percentile, you can prepare both the things simultaneously because JE main JE advanced ke level mein bahut zyada fark nahi reh gaya especially in maths theek hai so your JE main preparation will also help you in advanced your advanced preparation will also help you in JE main session so you can prepare uh, both the exams simultaneously but for that of course you need to have a detailed timetable tum ek ek din kaise utilize karne wale ho march mein april mein till 18th of may 75, 76 days, how do you utilize this? This is a very detailed structure. So, what I would suggest is that initially, let's say from March to 15th of April, you work on your uh, week topics. Topic wise, you have to do the preparation at the advanced level. Difficult questions, circles, ke difficult questions, conics, ke difficult questions. Similarly, physics, chemistry, mein jo difficult questions at the advanced level. Ke. Because Almost like December, Jan, Feb, you must have prepared for JE main and boards only. So, thoda sa out of touch ho jate hai, log advance. Hai, na? So, isli, topic wise, advanced ke level ki questions karna wapis fir se bhoat zaroor hai. To March se leke mid April tak ya tumhara jo JE main uh, session 1 hai, tab tak tum topic wise preparation karo plus JE main ke papers do. After that, uh, you, you know, focus more on problem solving. So, from mid April, to mid-May, it should be more of test papers and the random problem solving of very, very high quality. So in the first phase, where you are topic-wise preparation, I think you should give one test in JE Advance every week, maybe on Sundays okay, or Saturdays, whatever. And from 15th April onwards, or from the last week of April I have written, but maybe from 15th April only, you should start giving one mock test of any coaching institute and uh, one previous previous year question paper so I am going to PYT one previous year question paper of IIT and one mock test every week from 15th April to 15th May every week you should give two maybe three also uh, if you're uh, if everything is done and you're free maybe two to three papers every week you can give okay so that will really improve your exam temperament that will re uh, improve your speed that will improve your uh, accuracy so, yes, are both important. So, from 15th or maybe from 1st March to 15th April, just uh, one test a week plus topic wise revision. And from 15th April to 15th May, two to three papers per week, their thorough analysis. Okay. And plus uh, more problem solving. So, that's all, guys. That was my suggestion for you. I hope uh, this video. Uh, must be really, really helpful for you. Vidyalankar course booster, which is CT, we will link in the video ke end. Mein dal denge. If you want to purchase it, you can just directly click on the link. In case you have any other query, if you have any other doubt, you can contact us on this number. And this is the website of Vidyalankar, that is www.vidyalankar.org. So thank you. And just don't get disheartened in case your JE main session 1 hasn't gone well. Okay, you have one more attempt, you have boards, you have midset, CT, IIT, there are exams I am very very sure that you will do good. Chum.